And hi, welcome to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program, Target Individual Experience. So, I guess the police are on there, the NY Predator Department, the Pussy Department, are edging up their agents, their snitches, walking on the block. The same uh, guy from the next building, the super, uh, you know, I'm walking, you know, I'm singing the song. He's like, hey, I'm fuck your girl and this and this and all of this stuff. And then again, trying to pull a knife on me again. You know, so I went inside, I got a crowbar, came back out, you know, started laughing. I said, oh, okay, now, now we're laughing now, right? We're talking all that shit, but now we're laughing. See, when I had nothing on me except my cane and he got a knife, he big and bad, right? So I want to tell you guys why they do this, okay? And again, you know, we're going back and forth, you know, I'm calling him, I say, yo, you're a pussy, and he's like, oh, yo, you, I say, yeah, you, you gay, you're a body boy, and all this stuff, right? So, you know, again, this is how we used to talk back in the days, you know? So like I said, sometimes these people take you back into that, that era, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, but the thing is, as TIs, we got to understand that they're just talking, right? They're just talking, Okay. And it's to try to get you anger, angry and gin up, what have you. And I, listen, I know he wasn't going to do anything, right? I know he wasn't going to do anything. The only reason why he feel this confident is again, and I'm going to tell you something. Pick up my daughter, walking out from the school. It had this white girl walking towards me. She sees me. She turns around. At the corner, there are these two uh, police officers. And, you know, they're wearing their uniform, but they're in a, a, a van, Right? They were in a van and, you know, they're looking at her and the people around there looking at her, looking at the white girl, what have you. I'm just like, okay, this is, you know, like I said, they'll always get some woman, you know, like I said, sometimes is what I call uh, specific um, ethnic targeting. Well, they'll just get one person of a group to try to target you and then everybody is looking at that person, looking at you. They've, they've used white women, they've used Jewish women, they're white women also, but, you know, Hasidic Jews. Um, if you Hispanic women, black women, you know, Asian women, doesn't matter. They always find that one particular, I mean, I'm a man, they have to use women, right? Because they try to run the homosexual theme, doesn't work, I'm not homosexual. I have nothing against gay people, okay? Even when I was telling him he's a body boy, all that stuff, that's just lingo that we used to talk back in the days, right? It's, you know, but that's how it was, you know, in the early 90s, you DJ and, you know, listen to Buju Banta and Boom Bye Bye, doesn't mean that, you know, you're, you're going to cause violence against gay people. You know what I mean? Some cultures, they're like that. I'm not like that. Okay, even though it's not my lifestyle, it's your their lifestyle. You know, just don't try to, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, anyway. So, like I said, I got a crowbar, came back outside. I had my daughter in the hallway with the super of this building downstairs. Come back outside with the crowbar. He starts walking around. talking about, oh, do me something. I'm like, yeah, come on, man. You think I'm stupid? You think I'm stupid, all right? See, this is what they do. This is why, you see, when he had his knife in his hand, he was hiding it just in case I took up my camera to start filming him, right? So when he sees that I, I wasn't filming him, then he starts showing the knife. So again, now I have to go and get me a protection, okay? Because again, as a TI, you, can't depend on the, you cannot depend on the police because the police are part of your targeting, not all of them, you know, just the predators, you know? And they will pay these idiots to, you know, anger you or try to uh, assault you in in very ways sometimes it's very subtle sometimes it's not so we have to understand what's going on but as i've shown you guys before my video where he pulled a knife on me so now i have to walk with gonna start walking with some sort of protection against this idiot because the next time he approached me and he pulled a knife out on me i'm gonna do what i have to do to defend myself and particularly if i'm coming uh from school with my daughter i'm not gonna just uh keep walking away because that's what they want right this is, this is this is what they want so i'm not gonna keep walking away when it's every it was almost every day these people you know like i said people they can engage in the psychological bullshit once you started pulling that knife and once you start to you know try to assault me in very subtle ways physically you know like walking and bumping into me and you know sticking your elbows out uh, you know uh, as i'm passing by and stuff like that you know then again trying to set you off right so this is why you know we have to as TIs understood understand what's going on. So like I said, we don't do any you don't do anything that's offensive, do something that do what's defensive. Uh, you know, uh, so they can't say that you attack them, 
but you it should be you're always going to be defending yourself okay when it's psychological you defend yourself psychologically when it's physical you defend yourself physically so we have to understand that right and again they try to label you and again this is to try to put a label on you or to try to reinforce some sort of labeling because i know the psychological game that they play okay i know the psychological game that they play okay it's like the police right the police arrest black men saying that oh uh, uh assault against police officers why because you are, are resisting arrest right because they approach you in an aggressive manner you don't know what's going on you know you step back they grabbing you, you you like why are you grabbing me that right there is considered to be resisting arrest right so again the law that they operate under is different from what the law is that they want us to abide by okay they operate on a complete different law even when they know they're violating your rights and the law they will justify it okay they will put like you know uh for example we talk about the protesters during the black Lives matter, matter um mo uh, marches and movement what happened the police was charging protesters with terrorism they're charging them with in, with, in, with terrorism that's what this on the fbi again this is all documented so understand how they put they play this what i call dark projection okay well not what i call but that's the term quantum for it dark projection okay and they do it so as a ti again like i said they 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 try to always put you in this negative light but that doesn't mean that you cannot defend yourself that does not mean that you cannot stick up for yourself okay don't let them create this passive person to where they can abuse you and assault you and you not do anything so yes i was with my daughter and because i knew he wasn't going to do anything this is why i confront him because again i know the game that they play all right i've studied their program like i said i see their programming plain and simple i see their tactics the manipulation the technology that they use and this is why i do these videos just to educate ti's but also to let you know that when people are assaulting you or they get to the point where they feel that they can do this to you you have a right to defend yourself it doesn't mean that you're going to attack people what it means is that if somebody's going to pull out a knife on you okay and they, they're going to do it more than once you have every right to protect yourself right now i'm not going to call the police because this is what they want they want police to show up who they you know who they know that they're going to send to try to target me i've i've done it before where they where they either they don't come at all right they don't come at all they just ignore you or if they come or when they come they they just they just there to target you okay so understand that as ti's the predicament that we're in you know but again like i said now because of this second event where he pulled a knife out of me again i am going to have to protect myself okay and maybe that's what they want happen they want me to get a knife to protect myself so they can say oh we got to watch him even more you, you, know, you understand you got to understand the way that they move and the way that they operate and the fact that because they're in law enforcement and because they got the, you know communities all uh indoctrinated and brainwashed with lies and deception right people will follow suit you understand it is like you know the sheeps being laid uh led to the slaughter this is what these people are but they have no clue they have no idea right so like i said i'm gonna have to get me protection i'm gonna you know you can look up in, in you know the laws of your state and if you can carry a knife how big it has to be or what have you you know to protect yourself doesn't mean you're going to attack anybody but just remember that when you if you do get a, some sort of protection okay they're going to try to manipulate you to try to for you to be offensive but don't do that be defensive always think with a defensive mindset particularly if you're a ti because you know you're being watched you know that they're trying to set you up any which way they can so they can incarcerate you or institutionalize you right understand that because they're cowards they're cowards because those that created this program those that implant you those that run the psychological uh, program the psyops okay they want to be, they want to get rid of you because i always say you are the evidence of what they were doing illegally of the non-consensual illegal experimentation so they have to try to get rid of you okay the more the truth come out is the more they're going to attack you to so that you can uh you know 
you can do something or uh, make a mistake so they can come to incarcerate you or institutionalize you. Just always remember that. This is what they try to do. Okay? All right. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video.